What's going on everyone? Welcome to the YouTube channel. If it's your first time here, my name is Edward Lee. I'm a filmmaker and photographer, and this is my home office setup. Now, if you wanna see a video on this whole setup and what's in it, I'll link it down below or somewhere around here. But this video specifically is going to be about how to keep your space clean and minimal and just free of clutter. And I know that with all of us staying home a lot more, this has become a more and more important topic. So let's not waste any more time and get right into it. Now my first tip for keeping your space clean and minimal is make sure you assign a home to every single item in your environment or in your space. Every item that you own should have a designated home or spot that you put it away if it's not there already. Now for me, it's things like books, cables, mics. I literally have a spot for everything that I own in this room. And that is a crucial step if you're trying to declutter your home office because when you don't have assigned homes for your items, that is when things start to get cluttered, that is when you start to have things laid out all over the place. So it's really important that you assign a spot for each item that you have. And I can relate when you have things that you don't know where to put because it's just kind of a miscellaneous item. So literally make a miscellaneous item drawer or a random item drawer. Like I have a drawer in this Husky chest where it's just random stuff that I do use on a regular basis. I just don't know how to categorize it or where to put it. So I put it into these drawers that I just label as random drawers. Now, if you come across items in your home office space that you can't even put into miscellaneous drawer, you don't know where to put it. This brings me to my second tip and my second point and that is be super aggressive about what you decide to keep and throw away or sell. Like when I was cleaning my office space, you know, you, we tend to have attachments to things and you need to be really aware of how often you use something, if you use it at all, and whether or not you should keep it. We tend to keep all of our things. Um, generally, I think that we're, we hoard things a lot and for me, this was a really big thing because when I was kind of transitioning out into like a more professional workspace, I had a lot of items and things that I accumulated over the last years, like when I was a kid or when I was, you know, guess just getting into my freelance creation, uh, content creation journey. And so I had a lot of items. Now I wanted to keep them, but you really have to ask yourself, like when was the last time you grabbed that thing? When was the last time you used it? If it's like, if it's been months or even years, there's a really good chance that you don't need it and you can either throw it away or sell it or even give it off to someone in your family or a friend that you think might find it useful. So be really aggressive in this process. This is crucial, I'm telling you guys. Like if you, if you hoard a lot of things, you, it's gonna be really difficult to have a clean and minimal space. You should have Everything in your office or in your environment should be functional, something that you use on a regular basis, if not once every couple weeks. Now my third tip is kind of like a cleaning tip and that is don't clean your space, keep up with your space or upkeep um, your space. That just means that a lot of times, I know I was there before too, like everything would just get everywhere, right? You just have a mess, you have stuff all over the shelves, you have stuff all over your desk, and then you decide one weekend, you're like, I'm gonna tackle this and clean everything, and you do that. And then one day, after one weekend, your whole office or space is cleaned, but then it starts to pile up again, and it gets super messy, and then you do another deep clean. Don't kind of do it like that. What's really helped me is like, as you go out through your day, as you go throughout your week, just like clean up here and there. Like if you, this is why it's important to go with, you know, follow step number one, because when you have a home for everything, you know exactly where everything should be. So if something's out of place and you notice it and it hasn't really got too messy yet, just put it back away where it's assigned, put it back to its home and do this on a regular basis and you'll find yourself keeping and maintaining a clean and minimal space. Also, just to get a little bit more technical, like for me, like in my desk drawer, I keep like a microfiber cloth. Um, and I, I sometimes see when dust will accumulate on like the, the desk shelves or on my computer and stuff. So I keep a microfiber cloth just like really quick and handy right there so I can wipe off the tables if I feel like a lot of dust has been accumulated. And that helps a lot too with just like keeping all the spaces and um, tabletops clean. Um, and also another thing too is don't just like leave food and tables and plates and cups everywhere, right? Like 
I like to eat in my office too, especially when I'm working. I like to just quickly eat on the side. I know they would all do that, especially if you're working at, from home right now, but just make sure that when you're done eating, put, put it away. Go put it back in the kitchen. Don't just like leave it on your desk because once you have one thing that you let sit on your desk, that is when you have a ton of things that start to accumulate on your desk. So be really intentional about, you know, putting stuff away as soon as you're done working. Now, my fourth tip is to tuck your wires or like cable management. Cable, just like having cables and wires exposed is a really, really common thing. Like when you go into spaces, they'll just have cables everywhere. Um, and, but this really does make you feel a little bit more cluttered and less minimal. But I know that, you know, people like me, like there's a ton of things in here that require power that need to be plugged in. And so how do you actually tuck everything away if there's so many things that require power? Well, I made a whole video on my desk wire management. I'll link it down below if you want to check that out because that is commonly what people try to wire manage uh, when they first tackle their home office setup. But there are other things in your space that require power. Like I have a TV in here. I have like a cable modem behind me. There's like clocks on the walls and whatnot. And so, you know, sometimes you can't really tuck away all the wires completely, like they will be exposed. But even then, try to hug them alongside like your trim in your wall or you know, try to you know, put them under a cabinet or a shelf so it can't be seen. Like for my TV though, for example, I actually tucked the wire behind the firewall and did like a little whole DIY project. Um, that's a little bit extra, you don't have to do all that, but it is important that you try your very best to tuck away all your wires. And a good way to help do this as well is to use extension cables or you know, power strips, right? Like if you don't just like put your you know, products in just an outlet, um, what I like to do is I'll use like a power strip or an extension cable and plug that into the outlet and then use the power strip and like put it under um, a big dresser or something so you can't see the cables even though there's like five things plugged into it. So hopefully that helps because it will make a big difference if you just tackle even just cable management alone. And if you are and if you're really not into cable managing and you really don't want to go through the effort of like you know, putting stuff away on the trims or taping or moving stuff or buying power strips, just hide it. <laughs> like if you look behind me where my cable modem is, right behind my coffee table near my sofa, there's just like a ton of cables with a power strip, but you can't really see it when you walk in. So if you can't hide it or if you can't tuck it properly, just hide it. <laughs> Now my fifth and final tip for you guys is not really a technical cleaning tip or anything like that. It's more of a mindset tip. And that is understand that your space is a direct reflection of you. Now, you may not agree with me, but I'm telling you, a lot of times when I meet people, if their space and environment is clean, minimal, it's aesthetic, like generally speaking, their work usually is that way as well. And I've met the contrary, you know, if your space and environment is not clean and minimal, it's cluttered, it's messy, it's unorganized. A lot of these types of people also show that in their work. It's, it's cluttered, it's unorganized, it's not as clean. Um, and that is true, not for everyone. I'm not gonna generalize that. I know there's a lot of people out there who may work in kind of messy environments and produce great work. I'm just saying that for me, at least in my personal experience, having a clean and minimal space, keeping my environment in check has straight up helped me produce better work because I'm worried less about cleaning and staying organized in my life that I can focus more on the important things. Uh, in my creative process. You really have to understand that your mental state has a direct correlation with your productivity. You know, if you're not feeling good in your in your mental state of mind, you're, you're not gonna produce your best work. It's gonna be really hard to produce your best work. And so I, I truly believe that if you try to declutter your, your mind, that is when you can start to declutter everything else in your life physically. A cluttered mind is what leads to a cluttered space because when you don't have enough time to clean your space is when you start to get into this kind of like sink or swim mode and you start to just stress about a lot of things. And I'm not gonna say that, you know, I'm blessed that I work a job where I can actually have time to clean my space. I know a lot of you guys may be working jobs, maybe your parents, maybe you just have a lot of things going on in life. And I know it's hard to kind of think about things like keeping an office space clean and minimal. But I'm telling you, if you make it a priority and you try to clean up your space, it will help you become more productive. It'll help you be more motivated to work in that environment. And at the end of the day, 
less is more. I know we've heard this a ton before, but I cannot tell you and stress how true it is. Um, over the last couple years as a filmmaker and photographer, I've just gone through a lot of different shifts and changes in the stuff that I own, places that I live and, and all those things. And I can tell you that having less things is really helpful. Like right now, maybe you might not feel that way, but I feel like I know where everything in this office is. I, I know all the items that I own. Like I literally know everything that I own and I don't own anything more than that or what I, you know, what I think is not useful. Everything that you own should serve a purpose, should serve, have a function. And if it doesn't, you don't need it because when you have more things, you have to manage more things and you have, you know, more things to worry about or stress about. And so just try to have less things um, and if you do own a lot of things, try to make sure they're intentional and functional pieces to your creative process or to your workflow. But the big reason why I try to kind of approach life in this kind of framework and, and try to own less things is because when you own less physical items and you're worrying about less things, you can you know, think about more important aspects of life, more important aspects of work. And that is like a huge, plus for me because if I'm too caught up in like what do I need to buy what do I need to sell what do I need to own what do I need to clean you know all this kind of stuff it takes away from a lot of things I should be thinking about when it comes to my creative work hopefully you found those tips helpful if you're interested in watching a video similar to this but for like your digital life because um, I feel the same way about what lives on your computer how you organize your hard drives and how I stay organized with my schedule and things like that on a digital front if you're interested in something like that comment down below I'd love to know and maybe I can make a video like that um, in the near coming future uh, but hopefully you found this one helpful we're all working from home a lot more just being at home a lot more and so dialing your space and making it clean and minimal is super important in my opinion so hopefully you took something away from this video. If you liked it, make sure you hit that like button. And if you haven't already, please subscribe to the channel. Um, it will help me you know, have more motivation to make more of these types of videos. And if you have any, any questions at all with what we talked about today, um, leave a comment. I'd love to get chat with you there, try to get back to all the comments. And um, yeah, I, I think that is everything that I want to say. Hopefully you guys uh, will tune in for the next one. See you guys tomorrow. Not tomorrow, next video. Peace.